I know Kelsey was not in a great mind space today because like last night she had a huge mental breakdown. I just felt really bad. She was crying by herself in the pool. But what was she doing? Like drinking herself, like oh, down in her sorrows. But like, what? What did she say? Like, what? She was just saying I just that. I don't even know she what goes, was said. I know it was gonna be hard, but I didn't expect it to be this hard. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, yes, it is hard on all of us too. Like, it's not just your man going off on dates with other girls that are well, friends. I think that's that's her mindset. Is that it yeah. is her man? Yeah, I mean, she also said last night that she was like the realest bitch here and everyone else was fake, so. What? We're yeah. all fake? Yeah. What did I ever do? I don't know. Like, does she think that after her one-on-one, -on -one, he's gonna be like, yup, you're the one for me. I just literally sat and talked to you about nothing for three hours to try to comfort you, dude. And I'm fake? Like, cause imagine if he decides that she's the one and doesn't see this side of her. It's like comforting to know that I'm not crazy and that I'm not the only person seeing this. What are you doing? Ooh. If he's having these strong feelings about Kelsey, but he's not seeing the full side of her, I do have to voice my concerns because he's never going to know unless I tell him. Did you have fun today? I did. I had lots of fun. Yeah. Although group dates are hard for me. Mm -hmm. It's just getting harder and harder as this goes by, you know, just because Feelings are developing. I get it, I've been there. Yeah. And I'm here just want to focus on you. Mm -hmm. But like, for example, like last night, Kelsey was like, like a mental breakdown because Sydney went off with you in a helicopter. I tried to talk to her. She was just sitting by herself, crying her eyes out. And I've seen multiple times that she's been drinking excessively. I just had a conversation with her, and I can tell that she has been struggling, and today she was not herself. And, um, and it's like, I, I hate to hear that about her right now, because we just like had a really good talk. And, I just know that I really care for Kelsey. I like her a lot. I heard that you had a little bit of kind of like a, a mental breakdown yesterday when when we left on the when I left on the one on one. I mean, I was emotional, but it wasn't a breakdown. It was just me like processing my feelings for you and like being upset was seeing you, like, going on another date with a girl. Like, no one wants to see that. Mm -hmm. I get that. But I just really do care about you a lot. And, and I, I am that. developing feelings for you. But I want you to know, like, I didn't have an emotional breakdown. I was sad. I was really sad. It's not like every day has been like that. It was just the first time after a one-on-one -on -one where my feelings were really strong, but like... Like, will you be okay? Yes. Because this is not going to get easier. It's not easy. But it's not going to get easier. It's and not going to get that. easier. And if I feel like I can't handle it, I will, I will tell you. So, do we want to talk about who said I was emotionally unstable today? And I'm not ashamed of crying in front of people. I'm proud of it. But it's not cool to go to him and be like, she's emotionally unstable. Whoever expressed the concern to him initially, that's for you to deal with or whatever you want to say, but also think about the people who are sitting here who also have not had one-on-ones with him at all. You were really upset about Sid getting the one-on-one. -on -one. It wasn't just her, though. It, was, like, it would have been anybody. But you said that she wasn't right for him. It's just like having like the understanding of like what we're the situation that we're in and like I think I this whole thing is getting one -on -one. blown way out of proportion. Honestly, um, I don't think that it's easy to say that whenever you weren't like in all of our shoes last night and had to experience it from like a different lens because um, it was a lot. I just think a lot of people hold a lot of stuff in. Like, I feel like I'm the only one right now that is actually, like, being vulnerable and expressing my emotions. That's like, absolutely 
think that you're the only one that's because doing you that. Because you know how many people go and cry Because in the we don't cry for and... four hours a day? But why is that wrong? You handle your emotions differently than I do. I don't you need don't, to drink myself to death and cry about it for a whole day. I did that once. Because we're not hourly expressing our emotions doesn't mean that we're not vulnerable. But also for you guys to say I'm emotionally unstable. I didn't I don't say know that. that. Somebody know. did. The drama continues and I'm sick of it. And I get it together. I not drama until, until night just, one. You were upset over a bottle of champagne for four days. <laughs>